following exercises determine the domain and the range of the quadratic function. And then they give us one quadratic function here, k of x equals 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. We just have to find the domain and range. Now I wrote these blobs already down here. If you want to know the context and me actually writing this out, that's two videos uh, from this one, two videos before on the quadratic function playlist that we have in the description. It has all of our videos that we've done with quadratic functions for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> Because math is fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but this is what you have to know. Write this down for quadratic functions. And this is only for quadratic functions, okay? So for quadratic functions, quadratic functions, the domain is always going to be all real numbers, okay? So domain, all real numbers. If we look at a quadratic function, right, the domain, which is always looking at the x-axis, so the quadratic function always goes somewhere, always to negative infinity. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. Even though it's slowly moving, technically it can go all the way to negative infinity. And if you extend this, it slowly goes all the way into the positive infinity direction. So that's why the domain is all real numbers. However, for the range, there is a cutoff point. There is a cutoff because you will always have either a maximum value, which is the ending value, or a minimum value, which is your starting value of your range, right? If you have a max value, you can't go more than a max. And if you have a min value, you can't go less than a min. So that's why this is the cap off, the max value. This is the cap off for the min. Now, this all depends on what type a, a quadratic you have. If you have a frowny quadratic where your a value is negative, you actually have a max value. This is a frowny, right? It frowns. And your max value, you can kind of see it, right? That's the highest the graph goes. But it will constantly go all the way down to the negative infinity direction. But the cap off is that one. If you have a smiley face, so I'll just show you that one real quick. If you had a smiley face, quadratic, your vertex is down here, and you have a minimum value in which you can go into the positive infinity direction. So that's where this is all coming from. Now, the actual number for the range is the k value. That's going to be the actual min or max value. So we have to find that. Now first, let's just get some things out of the way here. We know that since this is a quadratic, the domain is going to be all real numbers. You could either state that by saying negative infinity all the way to positive infinity, parentheses because it's just a theoretical con concept, so it doesn't really exist. Or you could see this like double R thing. That means all real numbers as well. That just depends on what your professor wants. Now, your range, just like we said, let's first figure out whether I'm talking about a maximum value or a minimum value. That comes from the A value. They gave us the general form of the quadratic in which there are A, Bs, and Cs. Remember, your a value is always in front of the x squared, or the variable squared. The b value is always in front of just the lonely variable. And the c value is always the one just by itself. So a, b, and c. So a, b, and c, if I just list these out, I have an a value of 3, I have a b value of negative 6, and I have a c value of negative 9. Key in on the a value. The a value is 3, it's a positive, so I know that I have a min value, I have a minimum value. So my range is going to follow this type of idea. Bracket a number, which we don't know, it is not the a value, it's the k value. And then comma, infinity, parenthesis. Now we just have to find that k value. We've done tons of problems in which we have found the k value in this playlist. 
And it always comes in two sections. The first thing you have to do first is you have to find the H value. And the H and K values is the X and Y component of your vertex. So there's a formula for H. H is always equal to just negative B over 2A. That's why we did all the work over here, because I could just plug it in. This would equal negative times a negative 6, that was my B, divided by 2 times 3, because that was my A value. 3 was my A value. Uh, negative times a negative is positive, so this would be 6 over 2 times 3 is 6, so this would just be equal to 1. So my H value is just 1. Now we can solve for the K value. And the K value is just F of H. This means that you are just plugging in, plugging in H for your variable, whether your variable is X or A or B or T or whatever. In this case, they gave us X values. So what you're going to do is, I just like to rewrite and I like to give myself some space. So 3X squared minus 6X minus 9, all you're doing is you're going to plug in your h value, which was 1, into all of the x values. So this is no longer a x, it is now a 1, because that was my h value. This is no longer an x, this is a 1. And now we just solve the uh, equation by PEMDAS. 1 squared is 1. Right, so 3 times 1 minus 6, right, minus 9. 3 times 1 is just a 3. So I can just bring this closer. And then I just work from left to right. 3 minus 6 is a negative 3. Minus 9 is, you're really adding them together. So negative 3 minus 9 is a negative 12. And that is your k value. And over here is the, <laughs> is the subscribe button. If you want to click that, you can. Thank you. But we're just going to keep going. Greatly helps the channel for that silly algorithm that everybody talks about. Um, but yeah, so here is the k value. And you just plug a negative 12 in there. That's the k value. That would be your minimum value. And there's my answer. Here's the domain. Awesome. Here is my range. Awesome. And that's it. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out or a like or whatever they call it. Um, uh, smash the subscribe button, as they say. Uh, I am definitely a YouTuber. Yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you so much. And I will see you guys all in the next lesson. I hope this helped and have a great, 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 great day. See you later.